to say, hey, before we do anything, we need to understand, we need a clear objective. We need to know what we are trying to accomplish and why, and does it serve the best interests of the American people, our country, and our national security. Know that we can actually accomplish this objective. So often we've seen failures, costly failures, both to the American people and in other countries with one regime change war after the next, yeah. where our leaders fail to ask and answer these very basic questions that I can tell you a young lieutenant in the military knows you don't launch an operation until you know what is your objective, build your strategy, a winnable strategy to accomplish that objective and understand, does it serve our best interests of the uniform that we wear and the flag that we wear on our shoulder? These are ba these are baseline considerations. Basic. What is the objective? What is the goal? What interests are being served here? Well, I really haven't heard one, but one thing that is pretty clear is that the gas prices are definitely going to get a very, very high. Welcome back, beautiful and amazing human beings. This is Luke Radowski here of WeAreChange.org. And we have a lot of absolutely crazy news to get into as, of course, global supply chains are going to get even more expensive as, of course, energy is as well. From the latest announcement from Joe Biden that is surely going to be impacting you in more ways than one, not just at the pump. We're going to be talking about that, plus the major losses in Ukraine. So much news to get into, so we're just going to jump right into it, as of course in yesterday's video we talked about a deal that the Russians proposed to the Ukrainians. The Ukrainians have said no to this deal. As we are on day 12 of the invasion, as there's already intelligence analysts predicting that the worst is still yet to come, and we're reaching a crazy point where even the president of China is warning that this crisis could be spinning out of control with his latest comments to the French president Emmanuel Macron. And of course, people globally are feeling the effects of this war as it has created the price of gas, which has already been going up to go up even more. And even though the corporate media likes to blame all of this on Russia, which in part they are responsible for, we still have to remember that there was record lockdowns, mandates, disruptions to the global supply chains done by governments all in the name of quote safety that has ravaged the global economy to the point where we have seen record money printing in the United States as of course the Biden administration was hurting US domestic energy production. Now with the conflict of Ukraine, the situation has made that much worse, and it's only going to get a lot more worse from here, as we're going to talk about in just a few moments. But before we do, just shifting topics here momentarily, there are some people that are sorry for these lockdowns, mandates that have not only disrupted the global supply chain, but have ruined the lives of many people all throughout this world, to the point where even a senior epidemiologist has now publicly apologized on Sky News, specifically specifically to his daughter's generation for quote what he calls a morally wrong lockdown which he says he knew was wrong but was told to stay silent on and decided to do so. This is specifically Professor Mark Woolhouse, who now, when the world is distracted with this conflict in Ukraine, is coming out and saying that, quote, plain common sense was a casualty of this crisis. And gee, yeah, only if there was, you know, other scientists and journalists and independent media organizations warning about this. Oh, wait, yes, there was. And they were censored, of course, by big tech social media. In response to that, though, this is why we have started building our own platform, LukeUncensored.com, where, of course, we do exclusive content only available to members along with members only merchandise three huge master classes whatever 60 plus videos and we're going to be doing yet another video later on today which i hope you join us for where we are going to be discussing some of the more salacious accusations made by the russians specifically when it comes to this kind of global sickness and specifically surrounding the topic of bio warfare topics that are too hot and spicy to talk about on this platform so of course we're going to do it on our own platform and get to say and do whatever we want surrounding it all exclusively on lukeuncensored.com click the link down in the description below to find out more now when it comes to gas prices we have to understand this doesn't just affect the average individual at the pump trying to go from place a to place b but it also affects other things like manufacturing production 
food prices. And that's why when we are already seeing gas prices now even higher than modern classic apocalypse movie <laughs> movies predicted it would be, we're dealing with the situation that is going to make everything around us more expensive. And those prices that have been drastically going up within the last few months, as we told you they were, are only going to get a lot higher as the President of the United States just announced that he is going to be banning all imports of Russian oil and gas energy into the United States. Meaning, of course, that there will be less of energy. Less of energy creates more of a demand for it, creates a higher price for it, creates, of course, a circular situation where almost everything now will get even more expensive than it already has been getting. You thought the gas prices were high? Just just wait. Just wait a moment. And, and in yesterday's video on LukeUncensored.com, we even told you that it's most likely going to go up to seven dollars or eight dollars a gallon here specifically in the united states and now today a lot of people are predicting that this is going to be happening the united states is not the only country planning to do this so is the united kingdom there's still no word if germany will do the same but the president of russia is threatening his own sanctions his own actions against the west as he is now threatening to turn off the gas pipeline to Europe as punishment for these sanctions, as of course Europe is dependent on Russian energy in order to exist, especially in Germany, where under their green policies they have eliminated most of their nuclear reactors, which is an absolutely ridiculous, asinine policy that is dramatically costing Germany now, and of course bankrolling Russia. Putin also warned that the price of oil could go up to $300 a barrel and with what's been going on, especially if there's further escalations, this could most likely happen. Now with the United States cutting off Russian oil, we have to ask ourselves what will the United States do in order to make up for, of course, this lack of energy? Well, of course, they're sending dignitaries to highly moral countries that always respect human rights, countries like Venezuela and Saudi Arabia and oh yeah, Iran. This leaving a lot of people questioning if the United United States is going to be doing this as Biden has said they are why don't we just turn up domestic energy production here in the United States this would of course offset the huge deliberate costs that are going to be affecting an already destroyed economy here in the United States why instead of financing other dictatorships why won't we just produce our own energy that is a major question that of course should be asked but isn't being asked as this administration is just again and again trying to blame everything on Russia even though even though their actions within the last few months have caused the current situation that we're in that is creating a lot of desperation for the average American especially living in the suburbs that commutes and needs to travel the people who live in cities and voted for joe biden won't be affected by this as much as of course the people who didn't vote for him but this administration trying to scapegoat everything on russia is absolutely disingenuous and absolutely incorrect we cannot forget that these people are the ones that locked everything down and created a dangerous situation which they are only making more dangerous now as even admitted by the british broadcasting corporation that this current situation is going to cause a quote hell on earth for global food prices leading to a catastrophic global food crisis which of course is predominantly going to affect the very poor people in this country around the world as they are going to be paying the ultimate price here but don't worry Kamala Harris and Pete Buttigieg have a solution for everyone and that is go buy an electric car that on average costs over $60,000 as these out-of-touch bureaucrats are using this situation, telling Americans that now is the time to transition to, quote, green energy, even though the infrastructure is not there. Electric cars, especially with chip shortages, have been extremely unavailable to the point where even used cars are going up 40% in value. But the solution to massive debt, the world becoming poorer, the rich becoming richer through these policies of these out-of-touch corporate representatives who they truly are is to buy expensive luxury vehicles. These people are sick. 
These people are disgusting and they want you under their thumb as of course one of the technologies that has actually lifted more people out of poverty within recent recorded human history has been of course cryptocurrency which the Biden administration plans of course on locking down regulating and controlling to of course prevent the rest of the plebs from being lifted out of the poverty that they are creating all around us. Again this is the latest news coming in for Reuters by Biden is going after Bitcoin as of course it's providing people an alternative to the current hyperinflated fiat dollar system where because of the massive money printing the value of the dollar is literally being eroded from people's savings rich people who have assets who have real estate of course aren't affected here their wealth the rich are becoming super rich the poor who don't have their money in assets, or they're getting screwed and robbed more than ever as the government wants to track, trace, and a database spy on every single move that the peasants make in order to subjugate them even more. As of course, we're also finding out today that Homeland Security secretly collected the data of at least 200 million money transfers of over $500 made by Americans within the last 12 years. All of this, of course, without a warrant, proving yet again why a lot of people are moving towards Bitcoin. Now, these moves made by Biden are allegedly uh, against Russia, and they do affect Russia in a significant way, as, of course, we detailed to you how the Russian war machine is financed by the international trade of oil and energy that comes from that specific country. But you do have to wonder, with the effects of these moves on the average American, you have to speculate who these actions are also against and the long-term consequences and objectives of them. Now, I think it's fair to say that Russia is also in a situation that could be described as their own kind of Vietnam, their own kind of military quagmire, as, of course, Russia has previously demanded that Ukraine totally demilitarize as a term of condition for a ceasefire. They have gotten rid of that and are now asking for three demands that we talked about in yesterday's video. All of this, as all the initial reports are showing that they are losing this military conflict, as of course the West has sent a significant amount of anti-tank missiles and other military hardware that has been able to stop the Russians in many significant key parts of Ukraine, preventing their push forward. We're also getting some initial news reports that have not been confirmed that there are allegedly some Kremlin officials that are denouncing what they're cl calling a cluster mess of an invasion, as we're finding out that some Russian forces are bogged down as temperatures are set to drop to negative 20 celsius landmines have been placed and allegedly 12,000 russian soldiers have been taken out now are these reports true again a lot of disinformation has been going out there to the general public when it comes to this specific conflict there's allegedly an fsb whistleblower saying that there's no option for a possible victory here there's other reports of two high-ranking kremlin generals that have been taken out is it from an fsb officer is it a part of a disinformation campaign well who knows but there is an overwhelming amount of videos and photos showing a lot of significant Russian hardware being taken out in Ukraine. And it wouldn't surprise me if this conflict isn't going as planned for the Russians. Either way, a peace deal has been turned down by Ukraine. The European Union is sending in troops over to Bosnia. And we could only hope and pray that this situation de-escalates from here and doesn't lead to more politicians creating more problems for everyone else. As one thing is clear that the ultimate price that is going to be paid for this is of course the pound of flesh by the very poor people who are not left with many options from the horrible decisions made by their politicians what's happening right now is is, is horrible and i hope you guys are are prepared um as again things are going to get a lot worse before they get any better i got one more video coming out specifically about this topic later on today on lukeuncensored.com i hope to see you there and if you want some important con context about the peace deal that we were talking about specifically in reference to yesterday's video make sure to watch this video so you could fully understand this situation i wouldn't be here if it wasn't for you guys watching and sharing this video because you do i'm still here this is why i love you guys stay tuned for more here on wearechange.org